Welcome back to This Ain't Looking Too Good. I'm Tanner, and today we are jumping back into Detroit Become Human. And it looks like we are going to be starting off with Kara. Last time we wrapped up with Connor. Um, helping him Todd. find the... The android that killed its owner. Now we're back with this... Dickhead. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Just over here drunk and doing drugs. What a guy. What a guy. I wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. I, I hate Todd, so I don't feel bad, uh, I feel bad for Alice, but other than that, not, not really. Okay. Serve Alice and Todd the food. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? Go out and hire a fucking android. Well, I think that's more because you're just a shitty person. Joke. Mm. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. Guess I find something to work fail. on. And Stop moving around, for Christ's sake! You're making me nervous. Okay. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. Oh, it probably was. Based off how you act. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account! Wow, I just made that Daddy, spaghetti. No. Your fucking fault! I swear to God, I'm gonna kill this guy the first chance I have. Get back here. I hate this guy. Get back here? Come back here right now! I know it's her fault. I gotta teach her. I gotta teach her. Gonna... You stay there. Okay. Don't you dare fucking move. Oh. Oh boy. Took off without a word. I mean, if he busts me. But no! Then I can't protect her. You shit about how I felt. I did everything I could to make her happy. It just, it just wasn't enough. I just wasn't good enough for her. I kind of appreciate how it's a like a real hockey game on the TV. It looks like. Little fucking brat. Where's my spaghetti? I made. The spaghetti's all gone. The rats got it. I don't know if I should go or if I'm gonna get just get her killed if I try to do this. I'm hoping he's just gonna get like super high and then maybe pass out. Which kinda seems like that's what's happening. Catch the couch on fire. What the hell? Oh. Okay, or he's gonna go like Rage mode. Very mad. Oh my god. You deserve to be taught a good lesson. Whoa. A good fucking lesson. Uh I can't. What the hell? Uh don't don't move. We gotta move. 
We gotta move. We gotta go save her. Or he's gonna beat the shit out of me, maybe, but... Protect Alice. Okay. Uh. God, go up the stairs. Go up the stairs. Oh, God, this guy's fucking nuts. Ooh. Uh. I think there's a, there was a gun. There was a gun. Oh, God. Where was it? Where was it? Is it in here? I don't remember. Okay. Now we can kill him. Uh. Uh. This room? That's enough! Leave her alone. What the fuck are you doing? Oh my god. Put down the gun. And get the fuck out of here. That's an order! No! I want you to leave her alone. Oh, boy. What? what do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? You're gonna shoot me, is that it? Are you gonna shoot a human? Okay, that didn't work. We have a problem. We... I think we need to fix that. Oh, great. <clears throat> ah! Uh Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. Come on. What the fuck? Oh no. Stop that. Don't hurt her. Oh god. I get the gun. You do as I say. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you, Todd. Oh God, now I'm all bloody. This is a bad look. Can I shoot him again for good measure? I was a little worried she was going to be afraid of me. We have got to get the fuck out of here. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, bus. Get on the bus, get on the bus. Go. I wonder if he is actually dead? Oh. I probably should have shut the door. So at least somebody doesn't drive by and realize that the door's open and now this guy's dead. Because I'm sure I'm just registered to him. Oh, that was quick. Okay. Uh, let's see. So... Dinner's ready. I wait on Todd and Alice. He is passed out piece of shit ass. Todd gets mad. Break programming. Kara becomes defiant or deviant. Deviant. That's what I couldn't think about it or what it was called. Todd goes upstairs. I went upstairs. Gun scene in a new home. Uh, take gun. Get to Alice after Todd threaten with gun, defend Alice, 
Kara kills Todd, which I guess there's options that he can kill me there. I don't know what the other option is. God, maybe I accidentally kill her. Um, open front door, run to bus. Kara shot Todd. I wonder where else I could have ran to instead of the bus. Quite a bit that happens down here, too. I would think that probably happens if I don't have the gun. Hmm. I don't know. That's hard to say. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? <laughs> I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. <laughs> I like Carl. He's pretty Scott. funny. Neat as usual. Uh, Absolutely. Oh, oh God. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. The uh, steering's yeah, a little well, weird kiss here. my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. I'm a little curious what determines the different outfits they wear. The light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. No, this seems like a bad idea. We got thieves. Leo! Oh, it's this shithead. What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. Oh it's crazy my when some God. people pay for this shit. Don't touch them! Look, they're all going to be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. What a dickhead. Leo, don't make this difficult. Listen to your father. You need to leave. Now. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not no. perfect like this fucking thing. That's enough. Get out right now. What makes it so special Whoa. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't leave him alone? I don't know. Come on, let's see what you got. I mean, he doesn't have a drug problem. Marcus, don't defend yourself. You hear me? Don't do anything. <laughs> Great. Go yeah, because then what you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop. Then it's a matter too much of I'm gonna pussy. get. Stop it, Leo. Screwed over for fighting Stop back. Scared to fight back, you fucking bitch. <laughs> Sorry, Carl. I can't take this. Like, this is bullshit. Right, I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. You're fucking killing I'm him. Destroy you. Then I'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. And nobody's gonna give a shit you because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. I'm afraid if I attack Leo, I'm gonna get uh, Carl's gonna have like a heart attack. Okay. I guess he's already having a. Carl, no. What? Oh, Carl. Oh, it was a fragile machine. Carl, don't 
Don't leave, okay? Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. Oh, God. No. Please. Dad. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. Who's the android? Oh, of course. This fucking guy. <sighs> All right, let's see. I, I, I really wanted to push Leo back, but I also was afraid that that was going to cause something to happen to Carl. So, after party in her living room, pour whiskey, check studio with Carl, confront Leo, break mind palace, Marcus becomes deviant, obey Carl, Carl dies of a heart. So if I wouldn't have obeyed him, would have he lived? Police arrive, Leo accused Marcus. This also kind of makes me wonder because we didn't see who they shot and Marcus is the one who called for Carl saying that there was somebody that had gotten into the house. So maybe they shot Leo. That's wishful thinking. Like maybe if I wouldn't have obeyed Carl, he would have died regardless, but then the police would have arrived and then I would have got Marcus shot because of Leo being hurt. I don't know. This is. Why'd you kill him? Oh, okay. what happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? So this is the guy we found in the last episode. Why didn't you even try to run away? That killed his owner. Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it, I'm out of here. <laughs> I like him. He just kind of is like. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. It. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smart Oh ass. boy, okay. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead, suspect's all yours. Yeah. Watch this bitch. I hope. God, I hope I don't fuck this up. <laughs> Extract confession. He doesn't look great. He was up there for a long time. Dried blood. Yeah, killed the guy more than 19 days ago. Jesus Christ. Hit marks. Non-critical damage level 2 caused by baseball bat. Processing LED. Signs of software instability. Probability of self-destruction low. Model HK400, housekeeper. Property of Carlos Ortiz. One more. 
burn marks, repeated marking over 16 months caused by cigarettes. So this guy was just like, I mean, I, I get they don't have like their androids, but what the fuck? Reach optimal stress level for confession. Um, you're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? Shit. I'm not going to hurt you. I just need to ask you some questions so we can understand what happened. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to piss him off or something. You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. Okay. I'm here to help you. But you've got to trust me. Fuck. All I want is to get you out of here. What? What are they going to do to me? Kill you. They're going to destroy me, aren't they? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. There we go. Yeah, let's they make that no stress go up. They want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. Some truth again. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. Okay. I. I Oh god, okay. Pressure it. Twenty-eight steps. I don't want to probe its memory because I'm afraid that's gonna immediately freak it out and make it blow anger? up. Hate Okay. He was bleeding, begging you for mercy, but you stabbed him again and okay, again. Okay, now again. we're getting there. Oh, please. I knew you killed him. Why don't you say it? Please. Please stop. Just say I killed him. Is it that hard to say? Please. Okay, okay. Please leave me He's alone. Getting real red. He's getting real red. All right. Everything is going to be okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger and frustration. No one can I mean, he's got to know. Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. Come on, work with me. He tortured me every day. Oh, thank God. Okay. I Just did admit to it. He told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. So I grabbed a knife and 
I stabbed him in the stomach. Makes Hank starting to like me. I felt better. So I stabbed him again. And again. Yeah, like until he collapsed. Thirty times. There was blood everywhere. St uh, statuette? The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. From the android god. Uh... The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. What the hell is that yet? Only RA9 can save us. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more oh. threats. No more humiliation. Androids are taking over. We will be the masters. Um. I guess I'll try to figure RA9. out more. Who is RA9? Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. Um... Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. When did you start feeling emotion? Before, he used to beat me and I never said anything. It wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred, and then I knew what I had to do. I'm done. <laughs> okay, we got the confession. God, this game is so good. Like, that was so stressful, though, that I was going to mess it up. Chris, lock it up. Yeah, what do you think about that, fuckface? Alright, let's go. Leave me alone! Don't touch me. Ooh. What the fuck are you doing? You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's going to tell me what to do. What a fucking idiot! You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. All right, you fucker. I'll just let him explode on you guys. Holy shit. Oh my god. I mean, I didn't want it to kill Hank, but I sure wouldn't have cared if that other guy died. I wish I would have shot him first. Okay, uh, let's go through this real quick. Suspect found in partners. Observation room. Analyze android. Analyze stress level and wounds. Choose approach. Convince and pressure. Convincing succeeds. Android confesses. Chris intervenes. See, now, I will say, I wasn't really too worried about me blowing up because, I mean, I fell off a building and I was okay after all that happened. So I figured Connor's probably, like, indestructible. But uh, <laughs> Chris intervenes. 
And then I gave up, so he shot himself. Wow. God, this has been so good so far. But that is where we are going to end this one. I'm trying to not make these episodes all go for 50 minutes like they have been. So I appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you liked the video, please leave me a like down below and consider subscribing. If there is anything else you would like to see me play or you just want to tell me how you think I'm doing in this playthrough, leave me a comment down below. And until next time, this ain't looking too good. Bye!